it is time. It's pretty sick, guys. Actually, the side stage is awesome. This yeah. is not, when you look at this, this looks like a main stage of other events. But yeah. This is going to be EHC versus Nine Ski Korea. And here we go, guys. Picks and bands time. Something any MOBA fan will be familiar with. Yes, and, and actually... And in Dota, it's a little bit different. There are actually five bands on each side. Five bands for each team, and they actually do three for each team in the beginning, and then they pick, I think, three yeah. heroes for each side, and then they ban two more heroes for each side, and then they go into the last two picks. Yep. It's like... Well, if we follow the little sort of Final Fantasy turn gauge there in the middle of the screen, it looks like it will be ban, ban, pick, ban, pick, ban, ban, pick, pick. Or maybe band, pick, oh, band, pick. It's two bands for each side in the beginning, yeah, and then, and then pick, three yeah. bands. Yeah, it's okay. labeled. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> I gotta hey, be on my game here. That's right. You gotta go beyond the game, actually. I can't see so, those little. So no bands quite yet. Arrows. We have to see who people are gonna choose. And I don't know who that is. And yeah, so there are our first two bands. Like we said, if you're familiar with Dota 2, you know what's up. We don't. You guys know it's up. We do not know it's up. Um, That's right. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have much internet access here, so... Yes, we can't even I'm get the Dota 2 wiki up here to see who That's is being right. banned, but... So, basically, let's go through the names of the players. On EHP, from Mongolia, we have Zulu, love you. Z Zolu. 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 Zolu, love you. TMK. Okurita. Mogi and Shivo. Mogi is like a bear, right? Uh, Yogi. Yogi bear. What? Mogi. Mogi bear? I don't know. Mogi bear, yeah. And here we go. So the first pick, and it's all in Chinese, unfortunately. Oh. so We were told it was going to be in English. Yeah, we were. <laughs> uh, I saw that second to last, or the second band for the last team. That was yeah. Naga Siren. Oh, really? I do know one of those champions. Excited. Yeah. I know a few of them. Like, if it's... This is so... Yeah, anyway... If it's been used in the international, it's all good. It's funny. I, I watched a bunch of Dota 2 games before this tournament to prepare uh -huh. to know something, but these champions, don't, or heroes, don't heroes. look anything don't like I've seen champions, man. before. It's pretty bad. Um, so, next two picks go to Mineski, <laughs> Mines Korea. Min Mineski. Mineski, Korea. Yeah, Mineski. And then we will get into game number one. I am excited for this game, actually. Yeah. I know that guy. That is Rubik. That is the guy who can uh, steal the abilities of all the other heroes. Yep, that's Like if a true. hero uses an ability, he can steal it. That's true. I, I feel like heroes that I've seen quite a bit when I watch the International were, of course, anti-mage. Everyone talks about anti-mage. Yeah. Um... And, and then there's a few other though. ones. <laughs> yeah. I saw, Crystal like, Maiden. Uh, Crystal Maiden, Lina. Shrek. Uh, Shrek? Did you say Shrek? <laughs> no, Shrek. Le Shrek. Oh, Le Shrek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And that's Venomaster, I think. And that guy... Check him out. <laughs> that guy needs to brush his teeth a little bit more. Well, see, that's what happens when you let gum disease really get too far. And at this his point, baby it's teeth, when he was growing up as a child, they never fell out. They just yeah. kind of got pushed out of the way by the new teeth. That actually happened to me. That's Oh, dude, did it look like that? That looks uncomfortable. A little bit. Uh, a couple of my teeth. <laughs> so we got Does another not look here. like a lot of fun. Uh, looks like Faceless Void. Is that the name of a hero? Huh? That guy. Faceless Void. <laughs> Looks like and I believe we do have Tidehunter Tide banned out. Yes. For Minsky. Another hero we know. Yep. Very good. Minsky. Minsky. And so, 30 seconds remaining left on this next band phase. Actually, both teams this get a... Band uh, from EHP this time around? Yeah. Both teams get a uh, extra timer of a minute 30, which I kind of like, actually. I like the... Um, Oh yeah. Set timers. If you need extra time, you can use it. It's kind of like uh, makes this part of the game even more strategic. Radiant team. Than yeah. It is. Players talking amongst themselves, deciding what would be the best choices for 
picks and bans before we go into game one. And I believe the group stages are singly limit or not singly elimination, but one game. So yeah. you don't get like a best of situation to try to come back. I mean, it's it's interesting because in a MOBA situation, a lot of times the matches, you know, are are much more refined after the first game. You know, where it's like, okay, we see that you're trying to do this, but oh, yeah. in the really good MOBAs, you know, you do see a lot of very different strategies. Each team is kind of known for certain things, but you can bring surprises to the table. You see it all the time mm-hmm. in other MOBAs. You and I'm see, sure holds the same. I'm sure that you hold the same for Dota. Yeah, you see players who are really good at certain champions, but then when the team wants to do something specific, they can totally change it, totally surprise it, especially for big tournaments yeah. like WCG. So you never know if a team's going to pull out something crazy, mm-hmm. especially in a. Well, Dota 2 is not really a new game because it's kind of just Dota again. But in the and in the group stages like this too. I mean, it would it would stand to reason that you may be more willing to try something a little bit riskier yeah, compositionally yeah. because then at one point you can maybe surprise your opponent get a win with that you can also keep your main plan quote unquote a little Ten bit more uh, safe a little bit more hidden so also could be something that Five the players are considering Reserve time. I've, I've so decided to name like the top left one double dragon double dragon <laughs> The two-headed dragon. Yep. It's like fire and ice. That's right. The abilities actually look like fire and ice to fire and yeah. ice. At your service. That's good. And pick. that, I, I want to say Huntress. Everyone's going to hate me now. I'm sorry. Well, we've already established we that's don't really how, know. That's just how it is, yeah. <laughs> we like are I guess going guys, to be hated on. Yeah. Uh, you know, WCG brought out a certain amount of English commentators for this. Mm. They have certain limitations as far as the number of people they can bring out. Things like that. There are other events going as well. So people have to kind of pull double duty. And in that particular situation, you end up with casters casting games that they may not be as familiar with as other ones. So, like I said, for the analytical side of things, definitely go check out the other stream. We've got Kaldor and Toby Wan casting that. Toby Wan knows what he's talking about. Yes, I'm sure you guys all know who Toby is. We're just going to chill out. We're going to learn a little bit more about Dota 2. I really wish we had an English client. Like like we mentioned yeah. earlier, they told us we were going to, but we don't. So it's going to be tough to really even pick things up as we go along yeah. with this. If you guys want to kind of learn along with us, because that's what we're going to be doing. This might be my fifth game of Dota 2 I've ever watched. Should be yep. fun. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Good. And, and here we go. I we are going into the actual game. So game one, starting right now. We didn't actually EHC get to see. And Mainsky. There's our stage once again, guys. The game is loading and as soon as it starts. We will be in the game. It didn't look like we and got to see the last two picks. Yeah, you know, I think it may have just team. dropped, actually. Yeah. Looks uh, like the ref's coming over. The game maybe did just drop, so we might have to go through picks and bans again. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, no, and I think it's actually Warcraft 3 on stream 1 at the moment, too, so. So, no analytical Dota 2 right now. No. But later in the day. Later in the stick day. Stick around, you will get some. That's right. And so the players getting a little bit more time to think about their picks and bans. I like how the refs here actually have referee jerseys on. They oh, yeah. look like hockey refs. A little bit, yeah. Or soccer. It's football. True. It's more official feeling. Yeah, and so I'm wondering if they're going to have people start the picks and bans over again, or if they're going to kind of enforce the same picks and bands that have been made up to this point to kind of pick up where we left off? I think they would have to. Maybe uh, someone misclicked, didn't want to pick that hero, and they're like, no, 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 we got to restart or something. Mm, possibly. I'm not sure if that's allowed, but we'll see. We're just going to have to hang tight here for a little bit. Yep. We've got a little bit of a delay. What I would really like is a... Uh some sort of handout that gives me a little bit more info about Dota. Like I said, I've got my phone here, 
trying to bring up the wiki, but the data connection in China on my phone has just not been fantastic yet. So yeah. Same with me. Haven't been able to do that. We don't have Wi-Fi, so... Oh, well. When it comes to StarCraft 2, guys, when it gets to that, I'll feel much more comfortable. Yes, but, definitely. And I'm really excited about the StarCraft 2 tournament, actually. We've got so many good players here. Really, really interesting tournament. Um, obviously, the premier players for that one are going to be the players from Korea, but hmm. we'll talk about that later. Do you actually know who's coming out here for StarCraft 2? Yeah, Besides quite a few of them. Not, not everybody, but hmm. I know quite a few of them. Because there's StarCraft 2 happening in IPL5 at the same time, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. Mm. Nice thing is that we're on at different times, so people can get both if they want to. That's good. It's actually nice. Two tournaments in separate, totally opposite time zones. Yeah. You can just watch video games for four days straight if you like. Yeah. And so we're waiting to see... Excuse me, what's going to happen with this game, guys? We haven't been given any information at all as far as like what's holding things up. I would have to assume it's some sort of technical difficulty with one of the computers. Yeah, it seems that way. The HP there, looking a little bit frustrated, as are we all. A lot of it frustrated. A lot of it frustrated. They want to get in the game. We want to get in the game. So, have you ever played any uh, competitive esports? Have you ever... Uh, I did play Halo competitively, actually, a little bit. Yep. That's cool. At a, at a local level. Local, um, okay. Yeah, so went to some lands near where I lived. Hmm. Did okay. This was before Xbox Live and everything, though. Oh, so, I mean, uh, well, Halo 1 didn't even have Xbox Live. Yeah. So. But, yeah, I did a little bit. How about you? I um, I was actually trying to become a StarCraft 2 pro. Oh. And I played in a couple of lands near New York City where I grew oh, okay. up and didn't do too well. Uh, uh, kind of lost interest in StarCraft 2, actually, mm. and decided to drop it. But it was a good experience. Enjoyed it. Lands were a lot of fun. Nerve-wracking. What were a lot of fun? Lands. Lands? Oh, yeah, yeah. they are. You can Tons tell these guys fun. when something goes wrong with the computers and they're really pumped to start this game, they're just yeah on so edge. That's kind of what we're doing. We're waiting for the games to start, and when they do, then we will be able to get in the game and see who wins what lane, who controls what buffs, who's able to take this. You said um, Dota was big in China and Mongolia, right? Or well, Mongolia is kind of like... Yeah, right yeah. next to you. Right. So in this region of the world, hmm. it is very so, popular. Just um, going off of that, I guess we'll have to root for E-Home, since they are Mongolian. Root for the... Uh, true, but the thing is, is actually this is really interesting, because Korea isn't really known for Dota 2. Yeah. Nobody plays Dota 2 in PC Bongs in Korea. I have no. yet to see anyone play it there. Um, it's all very much uh, a different MOBA that's played quite yes. a bit in Korea. Uh, so it's it's interesting to see that we, there is a, a pro Korean two team. I mean, or a pro Korean team. It's it's not surprising given Korea's kind of propensity for embracing every esport there is. Yeah. But um, I'm interested to see how they stack up against the rest of the world. Yeah, definitely. I know there's a StarCraft two pro actually. You know, Dignitas Select who is now trying to become a Dota 2 pro. He's actually Korea. here. He's at this tournament playing oh, Dota 2. Yeah. Oh, he is? He is, yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know which team he's on? I do not know. I'm not sure if it's a Korean team or if it's a North American team. But I've heard that he is, in fact, here, actually. So I'll have to go say hi to him That's a little really bit cool, later. Actually. Did not know that. I lived with Select for a little while last year. Definitely a cool guy. And he was always fun to watch in StarCraft 2 as well, but... Uh, a lot of StarCraft 2 gamers switching, maybe not a lot, but some switching over to MOBAs. Mm. And uh, I think finding out that it's not quite as easy as they thought it would be, because no. mechanically, yeah, after playing a game like StarCraft, mechanically you'll be able to catch on to a MOBA a lot quicker. There's less to do with your hands in a yeah. MOBA than there is in StarCraft 2. I mean, that's that's obvious, right? That's the way it is. When it comes to actually being good at the game, there's so much more than just being able to play your hero well. Yeah, there's something You need to be able deeper. to have teamwork. You need to be able yeah. to be aware of where your opponent's heroes are going to be at any given time. You need to coordinate with people. So 
I think a lot of StarCraft players are coming over and being like, all right, well, I can control my champion just fine, but that's not actually not worth a whole lot. Yeah. There's just so much more you have to be aware of. I mean, not yeah. more, but different stuff. You know, yeah. you got to be aware of the map. Mm. Well, you got to be aware of the mini map in you StarCraft. You can see but dueling situations in MOBAs where someone gets outplayed. You know, yeah. you can you can see yeah, that. Of but but most of the it's time, it's more about working together with your team, awareness. Yeah, it's going to be a relatively small part. Other champions. Yep. And all that good stuff. So we're still waiting to get back in that game that we dropped from. Sorry about the delay, guys. Hopefully we will get in there soon. Uh, the guy in the end looks And waiting happy. to see if maybe we're going to take a, a break here or something like that to get this all sorted out. Oh, here we are, like back, back in the kicks and bands again. Looks like they will just go with the same champions, they, or heroes rather, that they had already picked. Two-Faced Dragon. Venomancer kind of being picked on the bottom. Rubik. I really want to know who that is. I played um, Heroes of New Earth. Kind of looks like Bloodhunter. I'm not sure uh. if it is him, but I guess we'll find out. And I have just, I've just given up I'm trying to load the wiki page on my phone. This is not working. That girl Sorry. on the bottom is Queen of Pain, actually. A common, uh, she's Queen of Pain. Okay. And uh, she has a really powerful AoE ult, and she can blink at the same time. She does a lot of AoE damage, but I think mm. she's a little squishy, but very common in the mid lane, from what I could tell of the four games that I watched. All right. Well, here we go, guys. There are the final picks, and now we are ready to get into the game, and here we are. Welcome. To Dota 2. I'm we have uh, this. what? I'm actually quite excited for this. Even it's going to be really interesting. Know. We've What's got uh, our Korean team spawning on the left side of the map, and we have EHP from Mongolia spawning. Looks on like the we need upper a pause right. here. And there's immediately a pause, and we're going to have to see what's going on. Venomancer and Lady Pain hanging out there. That guy looks like an elephant. He does. He's more like a rhinoceros, really. Yeah. It's yeah. not really a soft trunk. It's like a hard kind of... Now, kinda one of the cool things about the, the shop in Dota 2 as well is that you can actually have sort of a, a pet go back and retrieve items oh, yeah. for you, That's you know? Cool. Which I believe it can die, right? People can actually yeah, kill it. Die. So it is a bit of a risk. And it's a ton of money, actually. I, I believe yeah. the upgraded courier is like 175 for each champion hmm. on the team that kills it, so... My Here we go. Thanks. Game on. Just a little extra added difficulty. That's right. So here we go, guys. Game number one. We have our duo bot lane for now. But things do change up quite a bit. I believe that is Faceless Void and... They're just going to hang out by that tower. Yeah. By their tier two tower, or tier one tower, rather. It looks like the hero that went bought with the hard carry was hmm. someone who bought the courier because she didn't have a lot of items. So I assume she's support. Thirty seconds to battle. But looks well, you like actually do know about Dota 2, don't you? A little bit. A little a bit. Little bit. Looks all, like right, all five good. heroes grouping up here. A little oh, look at this. Action. We have a little bit of level one action here. Zulu getting very low. He's at about half health. Will he be able to escape? There's a nice hop over the wall, and Zulu's going to pay for it. That's going to be a level one kill. Easy 400 gold Very starting easy. off for Korea. Wow. <laughs> she just pushed a slight bit too much forward, and you saw Rubik with that. Um, I'm not uh -oh. exactly sure what the name of the move is, but he lifts you up and pulls you back and just got yeah. her all the way in the middle of five Minsky heroes. And Looks like we've got a little bit of there. lag in the client here. Yep. Hopefully that catches up at some point. And it is in the client, we can see, because the, uh, the cameras. Yeah, there we go. They're going to have to get that fixed. And we're just going to see a replay, actually, of this first as well. You can see the knock-up and the knockback, keeping her pinned behind the team. The wall going down as well, preventing the rest of her team from coming in to help. And there's Lady of Pain hopping over that wall to deliver most of the finishing damage there. Very nicely done. And that's a first blood for someone who needs a lot of farm, which is pretty good for this Miniski team. Yeah. See some first invade. So we're going to try to catch back up to live here as soon as we can. And there we go. So... Already a little bit of a gold lead early on 
for Mainsky from Korea. EHP's got to catch up a little bit. We're going to see if they bring up the bar along the left side that will show us the creep score and the denies. Looks like another pause and Another pause. And again, all these technical issues. I mean, it's it's annoying, you know, we have to wait, but it is so important to make sure that the players are able to play at their absolute best. Yeah. We want the game dictated by skill and not technological issues. Yeah. And so we're going to take all the time that it takes to make sure that that happens, actually. I'm kind of worried because a pause happened with no one asking for a pause, and I believe in the rules it says you got to ask. Well, it could have been the uh, the Observers. observer pausing yeah. as well. We did have a little bit of lag just a minute ago, but Warcraft Three right now, holy! It's Sky versus Moon, guys. If you are Warcraft Three fans at all, that is actually an epic matchup going on. That is like this lineup for Warcraft Three. Actually, this tournament is like the premier Warcraft Three lineup from like four or five years ago. It's such a cool tournament. Definitely go watch that if you're at all interested in Warcraft Three. Yeah, definitely. Man, I want to go watch Warcraft 3, not <laughs> Sky vs. Moon, dude. Doa just gets up and leaves. That's exciting. I'm, like, I'm like throwing down my headset and walking out the door. I'm like, good luck, Brendan. You know more about this game than I do anyway. Thanks, Doa. I got this. Yep. All right, so we are going to wait. See what's going on. I believe that's Earthshaker up there. It looks like um, EHP is running a tri lane in the top lane. Yeah. Uh, just going to pull those neutral creeps into the lane to try to push it back. And let that uh, let the guy they're trying to get farm farm pretty safely. You can kite the creeps fairly far in, in Dota yeah. as well, so that is something you can kind of use to your advantage. Obviously. Mm. But it looked like the Rhino guy got a double damage rune and was going into that top lane. Oh, okay. Kind of one versus three up there. It looks like, yeah. Rhino guy. Yeah, Rhino guy. Sorry, I don't know the he name like of who that is. Like fist end on his tusk, so on yeah. his horn, so we should call him like Rhino Punch. Rhino Punch? Rhino Punch. I'm okay with that. It's pretty good. Yeah. Punch Oceros? <laughs> I don't know. Punch Rhino punch Fist. A la... I rhino know. Fist. Rhino maybe maybe not Rhino Fist. That could yeah. I don't know. Maybe rhino Punch safe. sounds better. Rhino, we'll do Rhino, rhino punch. punch. Yeah, okay. All right. Rhino Punch. This is so, this is so sad for... This is a sad day for the Dota scene <laughs> that we're casting this. <laughs> the Rhino Punch champion. That's right. Uh, hero. And our lovely stage once again. So hopefully we do get things figured out, guys. Of course, this is the first game of the day. It's better it's to have the technical true. difficulties now than well, in the finals. Well, if you're going to have them at any time, this is yeah. going to be the time Definitely. that you will have them. And it looks like the players are playing once again, so we're going to get back into the game in just a second, guys. There we go. Farming away. Tail Justice with the final G down at the bottom. And we're going to have to see who's able to get the denies. Pyong now. He's our, our Rhino guy. Who actually Rhino doesn't punch. have a fist at the end of his horn like I anticipated. Nah. It's actually just a very long horn. Looks like he has a sword, too, or something. Yeah. And Shivo. Coming up to the jungle, actually. He's going to go ahead and use his speed rune, I believe, right? No, there's... Never mind. That's an ability. <sighs> Not sure exactly what it does. <laughs> Gives him a little speed boost there. Yep. Um. Yep, there we go. So, and this more farming lane. being done. Yeah. In the mid lane here, by the river. Now you can also knock down parts of the wall in Dota 2 and kind of make your own path through the jungle. Yeah, and it also uh, gives you health regen. Kind of yep. like a mini pot or something. And look at that. Look at him trying to do some damage here. Zulu was the person who died initially, so he's going to need to be a little bit of careful. Look at that, a tower dive yes. already. And, oh man, Zulu's going to get very, very low, and that is going to be another kill. Lady of Pain, though, does manage to get away. That was a really early uh, tower dive. Well, Level she made four. it work, man. I mean, yeah. she is just going to be such a huge bully in that lane now. Already two kills up against her lane opponent. And that's just kind of going to be something that continues to snowball unless EHP wants to do something about it. But the last thing they want to have to do is babysit this mid lane, so this is a lot of early pressure for EHP. Yeah, you see the courier going out there to Queen of Pain, definitely picking up maybe a bottle. 
something that's definitely going to put her really far ahead and yeah picking up that bottle and yeah. another item that we can't see the name of because it's in Chinese so. Chinese yeah it's all in Chinese and looking to pick up the so it looks like Zolu just making a run for it grabbing the buff in the river there are two buffs in river and they are random you will get different buffs at different times yeah. so buff control is really really important because you never quite know what's going to be there Grabbing the rune should definitely help the uh, opposing hero against the Queen of Pain. Yeah, she's just going to try to creep a little bit in the jungle to catch up, maybe. Oh, this hero is Darkseer. Oh, you're um, right, that's someone else. Has the surge, has the uh, yeah. the armor that does AoE damage. Yeah. And of Look course at that. that. Anytime, anytime Zulu gets close, we've got Day just zoning him out completely. Oh, man. That was a nice dodge. Yes. And it's catapult time. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. He's trying to clear that creep wave. Doesn't want to let it get to his tower too much. Wants to kind of make sure this tower doesn't take a lot of damage because the uh, towers are actually... I feel like they have a little bit less health. Overall, they do die quicker in this game. <laughs> then in some other MOBAs? Yeah, yeah. I find it interesting, actually. There's no one in the bot lane for EHP. Like, no one. And there's three minuscule no, no, heroes down there. Well, they, I'm not sure what the idea behind that is. They, they might... Have, I don't know. They, I mean, it's possible that they might be willing to give up a tower just to be able to help their mid lane a little bit more, but... But it doesn't we'll even seem like anyone's helping at the This tower lane. taking some damage here. Not a lot of resistance coming out from EHP at the moment. Yeah, Venomance are definitely a good pusher with all those uh, squirty poison things. Yeah. Going to bring down the tower pretty fast. Venomance are poisoning all over, putting down those bug turrets. Bug turrets. That's good. It's Thanks. better than poison thingies. Yeah, that's right. But it looks like they're going to take down this tower. Wow. They do. And so 15, the first tower 15. goes to Mindski as well. It's definitely going to be... Uh, if I had to guess, Mindski probably up maybe 2, 3k gold already, and yeah. 5 minutes into the game, that's a decent lead. That's We're going right. to have to see what Ehom does to come back. And look at this. Oh, man, Mogi caught out of position, and he is not going to be able to do anything about it. Even with the slow, oh, wow. he does get taken out. Nice long range. That they ult coming out, him. so much damage. There's nothing yeah. that uh, Earthshaker could do to get away from that. Barely caught him on the end of that, too. Yep. Pale Juice and Reason... In the mid lane, meanwhile, Devil will go ahead and push up the bot lane. And finally, someone for Ehome coming down here. Yep. And a little bit of a nuke there coming out. Yeah. Now, I believe they call the longer lanes like this the suicide lanes, right? Because you do have to go all the way past the river. It's very, yeah. very dangerous to push Going up past that river. That far. You yeah. And then not very good place. And that one with the towers that come all the way out are the safe lanes, mm -hmm. I believe. It's like, oh, I don't want to fight that guy. <laughs> and so now we do have the point of contention being mostly in the mid game Zolu just still trying to farm they're not showing us any of the stats right now so we don't really know who's been able to farm quite as accurately as we could I guess yeah. but it looks then again see it's still on Chinese a bunch of pings coming out you see that blue guy coming down putting out a lot yep. of damage onto the Earthshaker Man. he's going to get caught by this uh, Rubik and that. there's nothing that they can do Another kill for day, I believe. Day just getting fed like crazy yeah. here, man. It's like a the HP has just become the day buffet, dude. Yeah. They're not open in the mornings only. It's an all-day buffet. It's a 24-hour buffet for day. I feel like when you get a fed Queen of Pain with that blink, she can just roam all over the map. And well, that's exactly what she's doing, man. I mean, yeah. she's been in the top lane. She was in the jungle, came back to mid. Yeah. When you got a Rubik there to support and just hold the guy in place, there's nothing that that guy is gonna do. Yeah. To get out of it. So true. Double Dragon. Double Dragon. I believe that's... It's going to hang out in the secret shop, maybe. Plague Rider from Heroes of New Earth. Again, sorry for referencing another game, just what I know. But How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. I just know that he's... He has a really powerful ult that, like, bounces. Yeah, mid turret going down again. I mean, it seems like Mindski Korea is just really dominating EHP yeah. in Game 1. It's 4-0 to zero right now. I mean, we're still fairly early in the game. 
Uh, so it's it's not completely over yet. But even though we can't see the CSing and the gold totals right now for both teams, you know, with those kills, they are going to have a significant lead too. And it's it's not just that they've been able to get the kills. It's when you when you force your opponent to fight under the tower like that. Yeah. You're going to have issues getting that CS. Yeah. And so you know that the gold totals have to be really looking good for Mindski right now as well. Mindski definitely really had. And you saw they had yeah. three Eom people there. They put down two stuns onto Queen of Pain, but she just flashes away uh -huh. or, or blinks away. And when you got this guy fed, there's not much you're going to be able to do. Yep. Wolf is just laughing at us. <laughs> I see it. Some of you guys might know Wolf. He's laughing and dancing in front of us. Yeah. Of course. When his turn comes to cast Dota 2, he then won't be will laughing. Then will he? We will be there. <laughs> That's right. We'll be there laughing at him. Actually, I'll probably be casting again. <laughs> um, so, the... I believe that... Rhinotar. That's a combination of Rhinoceros and Centaur. If I had or, to guess... And we need to add human on, so it's Rhino Mantar. Rhino Mantar. Rhino I'm Mantar? Okay that, yeah. Maybe we'll nickname. just make him Rhino Mancer. That guy actually almost went down tough, to the, dude. To the Watch Dark out. Seer uh, They're chasing. shield that was on that They're angry, man. Creep. Don't chase. It's not smart. The devil very low on health. He did pick up the sword. If I had to guess, they put that guy that with the bloody mouth uh -huh. in the safe lane with the tri-lane, and he has that item that gives him extra gold, and he uh -huh. can just kill a creep, so he's got to be the hard carry for this guy right here that's fighting the uh, elephant, okay. man. He's going to try to trade with Pyong. Pyong put down the AoE. He will be able to dash out of there, but getting chased again. Oh, look at that. Now the stun goes down on Akura. Oh, oh, geez. Here comes Day again, and that is like an insta-give to yeah. Undead Monster. It looked like a pretty close one-on-one, -on -one, but then when you see Day come in there, blink, and yeah. there's... The ult coming out for huge well, damage. Whenever uh, day happens for the undead, it, it doesn't go quite exactly. well. You know, usually they don't handle the light. They're much better working <laughs> as night creatures. Uh, Makes sense. And you see day up there on the mini map, just abusing that guy under the tower, yeah. chasing him into the trees. Devil just really having a hard time the with these creeps, man. He's just cutting around the tower. This is actually really smart by him. I mean, it's a way to take on things that are a little bit tougher than you can handle normally. Get a little bit uh, of XP, a little bit of gold. Try to stay competitive, but a little bit dangerous. I mean, you would think if somebody was able to hop back there, hmm. when they're roaming, it could be dangerous. Day getting another kill. I feel like you can that's actually six hear kills. the players yelling from where we're sitting. Yeah. Really Pretty exciting cool. for us. <laughs> Not for you guys. Look at this. 6 0 right now for Korea. I mean, they are just continuing to dominate. Not a whole lot that EHP appears to be able to do in this game. All the towers are pushed. I believe all the Tier 1 towers are down except for the one in the top lane. And yeah, they might just want to leave that a little bit because that's the one that um, EHP is going to have the hardest time pushing too. So that one they can just kind of leave sit for a little while. Yeah. It would stand to reason anyway. And there's reason on the screen. No pun intended. Ah. Uh. I know. <laughs> Good one. He's going like to go it. ahead and put down a uh, turret. a turret that looks like the guys from uh, Tremors. You ever see the movie Tremors? Tremors? No, I did not. It's a Tremors turret. And Day still farming some minions under turret there. Or not minions, I'm sorry. Some creeps. Creeps. creeps mm. out. It's slipped Don't mention out. that word. I'm sorry, it slipped out. <laughs> We're going to have to take you out back, though, now. Tell Toby one he'll come and like, hang me or something. <laughs> Feed me to a dingo. And in mid lane, we don't have a whole lot of reason. Teleporting down and to bottom lane. And double, yeah. Porting down to bottom lane. Looks like this is the carry for uh, Mindski. Yeah. Just sitting down here farming all day long. That's right. In that safe lane. Farming like a devil. Yes. That's what he's Very devilish. That's what he's doing. <laughs> You see Queen of Pain up here again in uh -oh, the opponent's uh -oh, jungle. Day. There are four uh, EHP members this is up so here. so dangerous. Oh, and he did get found out. All right, he's going to have to blink yeah. into that pit. Blink coming out. Just so safe, look able to roam around. It doesn't matter who's there. Like, they can just escape from anybody. Oh, look at this. Ruben reason coming held in. in place. Or reason him holding on, him the, in place. on the ledge there. He's trapped up there with the bug yeah. turret. And uh -oh. some damage coming out from Venomancer. 
Shivo's in trouble. Pale Justice pops oh, wow. up there, and he can't get away now. Oh, Pale Justice, what have you done? <laughs> this was a bad decision. He's going to go down. And that's the first kill for you. A lot of action coming that's out That's right. Shivo does get taken out as well. Kuda coming down, trying to chase Pyong. And he can't jump up the wall. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Tried to throw him up there again. Didn't quite get That's him right. that close Nine enough. kills. Two more kills. And look at this. Double dragon going down. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end. And that Four is... Double uh, dragon. Yeah. This guy, there is no hope for him. Yeah, he oh, wow, is he not be going to be able to take up Pyong. Uh, Maybe he is actually. Look at that. Pyong covered by the red cloud, but he will be able to get away. Trying to hit him with the skill shot at the end, but... They has a blank, and oh. there's... Yeah. And that is another... Look at that. He got killed by the bug turret. You can see they're up on the top in Chinese. That's definitely something like legendary. Yeah. Legendary kill right now. Monster kill. Yeah. kill. Uh, this guy is just dominating. Yeah. I don't he know. Is? After that first kill. It's a day of domination. Hey, look at It's a courier. He's bringing you some stuff. That is a cool sword, man. It's a purple sword. <laughs> But his sword, didn't, sword of pain. His actual sword didn't turn purple. That's right. It's a little bit disappointing. And that was a really nice play, though. Check out that ward there. Two yeah. wards, one for each team. Those are not wards. What am I talking about? That's a different game. Those no, are just... The, are they wards in this yeah, game, wards, too? Yeah, okay, there's wards. wards. Look at those wards. Looking at each other. That's right. That was a really nice play, though. Rubik throwing them up on the high ground so that they couldn't do anything. Darkseer was just stuck up there, but he vortexed the guy up onto... I forget who that was. I guess Venomancer? Yeah. Ven uh, vortexed him up and mm. kind of a eye for an eye there. Yep. Pretty funny. It is 11 to 2 right now, guys. Like, It's not going to get much better for EHP from here, I've got a feeling. Um, Minsky is just getting way too fed. Looks like we have Day a bit especially. of a smoke gank here. We got yep. three people smoked up for Minsky. They're all smoking up, huh? Yeah. In the jungle. All right. That's actually what it's called, smoke gank. Right. Smoking up. Smoking uh, through the jungle. It looks like Ehome knows something's up. They're paying and just getting out of their jungle. And I agree. Staying here smoked <laughs> up. Queen of Pain and is chilling. look at this. Looks like they might be able to take out this top turret. Or yeah, uh, it's possible. I mean, it is about time, too. It's we got three guys up here. You got it. There it is. He's getting ready turrets. to use that ability. But. Uh, fortification coming out for Eho. Looks like they want to try to get up there. But, oh, wow. Look at so much oh, damage man. coming out. Day. Day being focused by the team. Will he finally go down? Oh, they finally killed Day. Wow. Just got trapped by all five of yeah. Eho. They did well, not want her to get take, away. Man. Yeah. Uh, it looked like 708 gold for it's that not a bad spree. payday for that. I'm not sure who picked up the kill. I think it was yeah. Teal, the Teal color guy. Double Dragon. Double Dragon with the yeah. kill. <laughs> right. This guy has just been in the bot line all yeah. day long, farming. Devil. Well, now that he's got the purple sword, he's going to be able to start to hack apart. I think the, the purple sword is like the cleave sword. Because he was just attacking that as yeah. cleaving, so allows him to farm a lot easier. He doesn't need to pull everything under turrets anymore like he used to. He's very low on health, though, so he needs to yeah. pull back. Darkseer just putting that, uh, I'm not sure what the name of the ability is, but the uh -huh. Radiance-type um, AoE damage that you can put on a creep, just forcing that guy out of lane. Pretty funny. Yeah. And, and you have to be kind of admirable about the presence of mind that Minsky seems to have. I mean, they're really doing a good job of keeping vision everywhere. You know, they're yeah. really using they got the it turrets all from Venomancer well. You can see on the minimap that they can see nearly everything. They got nearly everything on the map. You got those yeah. bug turrets and a smoke gang coming out, but yeah. Venomancer getting unveiled and the vortex coming out. Three people getting caught. A lot of AoE damage coming out for three of them. Wow, a lot of people oh, from Minsky going down. Yeah, no kidding. This could be an opportunity, but no, look at this. So many people low on health from EHP. That's two kills as well. Looks like the hard carry coming here for He Home, but he's got to turn around right away. Devil the getting carry. involved in the fight as well. Yeah. Yeah, and they just can't chase under that turret. So that's going to end up being a two for three, <laughs> actually. Still in favor of Dave in into the uh, enemy base, and he might Day. die this tower. Wow. Does that he get close. away? Wow. The... Uh, Long range portal. ability coming out there from the guy with the bow. 
Almost killing him. Day. Huntress. Going on a bit of a I think I don't there. know if that's her name or X not, but something. Let me call her that. I think. Zolu. Call them by the clear names, man. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Zolu versus Day has been a mid lane match of the day. Has been doing very well in all game. Again, you know, I mean, we don't. There are more stats to this game, but we're not seeing him here. You Big see that play thing. coming down mid lane. I want to just click that arrow in the top left. Mm. See some stats, but all five E home heroes in their jungle. Yeah. Maybe trying to set up some kind of gank. Three people going Young. over. Someone's trying to pick up that rune. Yep. Still farming up top. Zolu comes in, though, doing a little bit of damage here. And look at this. We may actually have Shivo come in to help with this. Yeah. Oh, there's a snare. And it looks like Pyong's not going anywhere fast. And he is going to go down. Yeah, that's an easy kill. Easy pickup for EHP. And Shivo picking up that kill. Could they bring this back? You know, could they have such a bad start initially and still come back and win the game? Well, it looked like their hard carry got a bit of farm. We don't have the numbers here, but it seemed like he was just in the top lane farming pretty easily. But again, right. for Minisky, you had their carry and their bot lane doing a lot of farming. So, hmm. or you have to see in that one team fight, they did a ton of AOE damage. I'm not sure if that's what their comp is set up for, but well, I mean, it's. It probably is. I mean, you could you could see that. But at the same time, a comp like that, with all that AoE, you really need to do a decent job of staying together. Yeah. And you really need to be able to layer that AoE on top of everyone. And so it's all very situational. You know, you a lot of times with an AoE composition in MOBAs, you need to try to pull people into the jungles. You need to fight in the narrow corridors to make yeah. people group up. Because... I mean, obviously, Minsky sees the heroes that their opponents have. They know what they're going for. So they're not going to fight in a location where they know they're going to be at a disadvantage. So yeah. Up I feel until like that one fight, it just looked like Minsky was just going around, kind of trying to roam, yeah. pick off people, and it's been and working so far, 16 to 6. Maybe we get a look at some of these graphs. Yeah. Uh, Minsky up by a lot of gold there. More than 7,500. Yeah, it's not surprising. I mean, Radiant side is the side that Minsky is on, and you can see that they're just way ahead in terms of experience, in terms of gold right now. Dyer, in fact, has not been leading at one point at all Never. in this game. Well, after that first blood. Hurts a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Looked like the uh, deny is fairly low, it seems like, for this game. Like, just going by the other with the two games I've watched in the past, yeah. it seems like it would normally be a little bit higher, but... Then again, we had so much action early on in the game that does take away time that you would use to deny as well. But You see up there at the top of that farming chart, 123 yep. creeps killed for the hard carry of Minisky. He's going to be crazy in this lake. <laughs> and he's going to need to get It's going to be interesting when you see Earthshaker get that... Um, oh, and it looks like a vision dust going out. We may have a team fight actually here. Both teams getting very, very close. Yeah, grouping up here. Yep. They're going to try to defend this second tier turret. They're going to try. They need to. The other lanes are more or less pushed up, as we can see here. That turret already taking some serious damage. Tower, rather, taking some serious damage. I know when uh, Earthshaker, which is a hero that Ehome has, when he gets that blink dagger, he can just blink in and just do an AoE stun that does a ton of damage. And if they can get that really good engage, mm -hmm. maybe they can pull something off here. Yeah, That's really their only chance that I feel. Right now, EHP just trying to poke enough to keep them off the turret. And there's a teleport to the bottom lane to clear out that creep wave, and that's going to further farm the carry for Minsky. And look at that. He is a full 40 ahead of the next highest person on EHP. So, in terms of items, he's going to be in really good shape. Looks like a bunch of people smoked up here for E-Home. Yep. Maybe trying to set something up. And will they be able to do it? I mean, EHP would be happy to catch Day again. It looks like they are going to go after the major monster. Which I can't. Looks the like they just got the that uh, tier two turret in the bot lane yeah. uh, tower. Wow. 
And here we go, guys. Devil's still continuing to farm. There's a bit of a concerted push in the mid lane. But will they be able to take advantage of this? We got Their carry is here. not there right now. Again, he's just in that bot lane. Even after the, all that not real engagement in the top lane, he just TP'd down and picked up all that farm. And he's that's just... it, man. They want to keep those lanes pushing because that's what's going to allow them to push you know, yeah. the other lanes too and continue to put pressure on the EHP. The EHP, everybody did go back, picked up some items, and they are going to return to lane now. Try to continue to defend those Tier 2 turrets. Yeah, it looks like they're just keeping the four other members of Mineski together and just mm -hmm. kind of split pushing with the other guy, letting him farm up. And if they just let it go to gate late game, I'm not sure that E-Home can do much. Yep. And when you have your opponents push back like that, you can start to kind of farm their jungle as well, too. Yeah. Just make sure that they don't get any more farm at all this game. And with the lack of kills, the lack of gold that comes from that, too, it's going to be very tough for EHP to catch up. Seems like. You got like, nobody wearing their headsets. Yeah. It's kind of kind of interesting. They are in booths, though, so... Oh, no, they're not in booths. No, they're they? not. <laughs> they're on the stage. I'm not sure how that's working. Uh, well... They're actually not using microphones either. They're just yelling to each other. But there is no... There's no, like, Chinese commentary for the stage, so it's not like they know what's going on from commentators. Yeah, they definitely They'd have to turn know. around and look at the screen. And yeah. that never happens in these types of events. Never. 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 <laughs> never happens. So... More farming going on. Whoa! He was just going crazy with that sword, man. Someone turned on the dumpster. rename him Crazy Sword McGee. <laughs> Swinging that thing like it's going out of style. Looks like Earthshaker still doesn't have Blink Dagger. Yep. And Double Dragon and friends coming up towards the top lane. Are they going to try to make something happen? Looks like actually losing so. a little bit of their gold lead. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Radiant's just way far ahead. Yeah. Radiant is green side. Dire, of course, is the sinister-looking side. Minsky on Radiant side. EHP on Dire. Dire's so, in Dire Straits here. You know, I wonder if they uh, they do switch sides for games. Is this a, a single best of one where it's random, or is this? I'm not a, sure. Uh, best of three, because the thing is, is there are different strategies you can execute on different sides as well. I mean, it's it's not going to be the same each time. I think though in Dota, the map is exactly symmetrical. What? I think the map is exactly symmetrical. Well, it is, but you don't have like the same major monsters on each side though. Hmm. Right? I th I thought you did. I'm not sure. Well, anyway don't really want to say any information because I'd only be like 60% sure. Well, we've already proven that we have no idea anyway, so it's kind of too late to save face at that point. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's true. Pick up the chest. Day you want it. It's shining. It might have a compass in it, like in Zelda. I love Maybe it's chest. got a boomerang. Oh, you she just walked, walked over, over, man. Doesn't Letting want that. Down. It's like I already have the hook shot. <laughs> I don't need this, this chest. All right, Mogi, it's your turn to shine. You All double dragon, home. man. Go mix things up. It's grouping here together as five. It looks like they're so scared they don't even want to leave the base. Yeah. I And, I mean, they have to play defensive right now. There's really... I mean, it doesn't take an expert in in MOBAs to see what's going on in this game. Or in it's, any game, really. It's a... Yeah, I mean... We know that Minsky's way ahead at this point. Yeah. And that... EHP is just going to struggle to catch up. What they can hope for, though, is to just sit back and farm, and then once it gets to the point where both teams are quite farmed, both teams have a decent amount of items, if they can win a team fight, they can maybe try to push ahead and take objectives, but there is, I believe there is, you know, one buy, uh, buyback for when you die on a really long cooldown yeah, in Dota yeah. 2, right? So you can and be you sure spend that... you got to a lot of money. Yeah, Minsky is saving for that, though, I, yeah, I would imagine. And definitely. 
they're going to want to be able to use that if they need to. And it puts Ehome in an inter- interesting position. If they lose a big team fight, do they want to save for the buyback, or do they want to buy as many items as possible to give them the best chance to win the team fight? Yeah. It's definitely something to think about. You saw Queen of Pain was just hiding in the trees there for like a full minute, and now just sitting there, it looks like she's creeping in the jungle. Mm. Oh, no, just Uh-oh. just sitting there with the vision of the bug turret. Bug turret does Blinks spot it. She's going to blink out of there. Oh, she gets stunned, though. Mogi, team get everybody on top of her. Day might be getting caught out of position. Definitely, and there she goes down. They there can't so keep losing things. people like that. Yeah. Day getting a little bit reckless yet again. That was it definitely appears. too too bold there from Day. A little bit too bold. Uh, but Silly it looked day. like about four oh. ultimates came out onto that day. Rupert getting throwing the hunters into a tree. That's got to hurt. Take the wood back and build the barracks. You do, and look at this. Kuda getting caught out of position. Zolu trying to do damage from the outside, but he always, it already is very low on health. And Minsky, will they continue to push this? Already two members for EHB dead. Oh, wow. That's going to make a third right there. One for three so far. No, Rubik did die in that fight too, so. Yeah, but yeah. Devil just going around, doing so much damage. Yeah. Radiance just clean up from there. And I didn't see... Uh, Karita at mm. all on that fight. No. Not sure what he's doing. Nobody using their buyback, it looks like. And he hits the red-headed giants with that sword. Maybe that was a bit of a tactic there. Day just getting killed on purpose to bring uh, that's, E-Home. That's uh, brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> E-Home, give them some confidence Get so they can on lose purpose. the next team fight they massively. Make it close. It's 20 to 8 right now, dude. Yeah. Don't think that <laughs> E-Home players are going to be able to play their way out of this one. Yeah. And... Okurita. Okurita. Doing some damage day. Uh, still up in the top lane by himself. He's not too bold. And my personal favorite in this match, Double Dragon. <laughs> hanging my favorite out. favorite hero. My favorite hero ever. He has two tails, too. He does. Why doesn't he have four wings, though? Two He's heads, not quite. Two tails, not quite. Two wings. Um, what was the three-headed Godzilla monster? I don't know, man. Uh, not Gamera. That was the giant turtle. Gigan, not him. Nope. I don't know. It's one of those. Rhino Tar, pushing up the mid lane. Rhino. <laughs> Rhino Tar. Rhino Rhinoceros and Centaur put together. Or what? Well, Centaurs are part man and part. No, dude. He's got a big horn in the front. How many elephants do you know that have a single horn <laughs> protruding from their nose? We need to take you to a zoo. I've never teach you about zoo. elephants and rhinoceri. I've never been to a zoo. I don't know if rhinoceri is <laughs> plural for that. Rhinoceri. Well, he's he's part rhinoceros. He's part Definitely centaur rhinoceros. and he's part man. So he's rhino mantar, remember. Oh, okay. Rhino mantar. Rhino mantar. Ukrita. Chewing apart the goblins. Yeah, that's, that's what he does. That's, that's not an attack. That's a chew. Yeah, that's right. He's like on all fours, yep. smashing his face into the creep. There's an that's actual centaur. He's not as strong as the rhino mantar, so he's gonna, he's not gonna last quite as long. That guy just used an ability while in Viz. Yeah, he was checking. Was a... He was actually checking the pit to make sure no one was there, I believe. And they are gonna. If they can catch someone, smoke that their could way be down good. here. And they might catch devil. devil. Look at this devil getting caught out in the open here. All the walls go down, trying to get away. Oh, look at the damage! <laughs> this, this is what a hard carry can do and go to two guys. I don't know. What was they that? just annihilate everybody. Four members of EHB instantly dying, and there is That's five. the fifth kill, and that could be about it. Wow! Don't mess with Devil when he's got the giant purple sword and the giant red sword and, and the giant green sword. He's a BKB too. And so another sword that's on cooldown. After the stuns went out, he was at like half HP. He used the BKB. Yeah. He was. Not, and that uh, is just going to be the end of the game. Now we're going to go for replay instead. Then we're going to see the BKB. Bam! Someone jumps in there. Yeah. Um, well, it was and a does nice, some huge AOE damage. It was a nice Devil stun from Rhino everybody. Mantar, and then. Uh, Devil was able to clean it up. Rhino Mantar is just going to knock down the forest. He that doesn't was all care Rhino about the Lorax at all. And that that's whole not the fight was yeah. Rhino Mantar. He blinked Rhino in Mantar, there and he, just yeah. destroyed everybody. That stun man. All Set of things up for Devil to come grouped apart. up as five. And, and Devil just turned around and just annihilated everybody. Yeah. That AoE 
You can see EHP man like rubbing their brows in yeah. anger and depression. It's 25 to 8. They're not going to be able to get out of this one. We need some Look at how many therapy. swords Devil's collected. The only thing he has is a bunch of swords and boots and a drum. He's a drum. That's right. What does the drum do? He's going to play that drum with his forehead, too, but he's got he's to use all his hands to hold all his swords together. I really want to know what this champion, or this hero, actually is. Right. But, uh... If we had Toby here in the back, we could get some help, but unfortunately no one else that's in this place knows any Dota 2 either. Yeah. So. Well, Toby 1's the only person here that knows Dota, and he is currently casting Warcraft, Warcraft 3, 3, I believe, yeah. Which he will be doing, like, oh, don't worry, guys. Like, the finals and all that, it's going to be Toby Wan. Yeah. The good stuff will be the good We wouldn't casters. do that to you. We're just kind of filling in here because... We are. We, well, it's because they need people, and we're yeah. all they have. I, I'm i sorry, guys. I'm just not very familiar with this game. We're just going to have fun. Although it does look really fun. I have it, to say, I did get a Dota 2 beta key a while back. Maybe, like, too, yeah. four or five I, months ago. I've been really, really busy since I got back to Korea. I've been having to spend a lot of time on other games just to get prepared for the shows that I do every week. Yeah. And I haven't had any time to put into Dota 2 as well, but that'll be something I'd like to change. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And Rhino Mantar. Rhino Mantar. Getting the focus of the spectator, and well-deserved. That's right. I, I believe that's true. It didn't look like he was doing much in the laning stage, just sitting in that top lane, going 1v3. Farming, okay, I he's guess. He's got 106 CS, though. He's right in the middle of the pack. Yeah. Having that solo lane, I guess, they weren't able yeah. to box him out. Three denies. And you know what they say about when Rhino Mantar denies three times? That no, means no, I, that I don't know what they're saying. That means your whole team is going to get cut to <laughs> ribbons by Devil. Yeah. And his many swords. Here we go. The final turret before the base. Getting very, very low as well. Fortification coming up. So much damage. Oh, look at that. Dave is jumping in, man. He's going to insta give. Having that Earth BKB Shaker. as well. It looks like Rhino Mantar coming in, that he gets frozen. Everyone nice gets vortex. pulled in right now. This is the one chance for EHP. They have picked up two kills. It is two to two right now. And Minsky needs to pull back. Devil in there trying to continue to make something happen. Devil's He's so getting close. so low. Devil, run away. Careful. You're I'm not retaining any that. health. That was insane. So, a two for two. They left a present in their enemy's base. <laughs> yep. I believe there are some items when you die, they drop. Yeah, well, the uh, I believe one of the things you picked up, you pick up from the major monster. Roshan. Roshak, yeah, that's right. R Roshak? Roshan. 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 Yep. Roshan. Uh-oh, uh, that does not look good. Oh, we are not having a disconnect after all that, are we? Please, no. No. Can you resume from disconnects in Dota 2? I believe there are save states in Dota 2. Okay, I hopefully. I feel like they're the best prepared MOBA for technical difficulties. Are they really? That, well, we're going to hope so in this case because we don't want to go through that whole game again. We don't want to have to regame, guys. But if I was a ref, I mean... It was pretty much over. <laughs> I mean, is so far ahead right now. Yeah. Nobody's going to stop. Mindski at this point from getting in finishing off EHP. I like how we're calling that team like three different names. <laughs> Mindski, Minsky, and Miniski. Miniski. I think that's my favorite one. Miniski. Miniski. Yeah, I, I think that's possible. So, again, guys, sorry for the delay. We're going to see what happens. We're going to get an official ruling is where we're going to, uh, what we're going to do about that game. Apparently we have 5,300 people watching us. I believe that would be on stream A, probably not stream B. I don't know. Well, yeah, so we're just waiting for... Yeah. Uh, the refs don't really seem to know what's going on either. Yeah. It's really bad, guys. And it wasn't a pause, even. It was just the game. The game just dropped, crashed, yeah. Which sucks. We have a couple of boots mm. here. And I'm getting a lot of tweets, too, guys. Like, please, I, I love tweets. Like, please tweet at us and let us know well, tweet all the mistakes we're making. I don't have a Twitter. Because, yeah. What is your, your We have Twitter? a very limited English casting pool here, and they're just basically sticking people in different spots so 
Here Looks we are. like, oh, we're just re-showing that first blood. That's what kind of put this uh, Queen of Pain really far ahead. Yeah. You can see her diving at level three. Magnetar. Again. We have a tar part of his name, right? Sweet. This is really cool, actually. Diving this <laughs> this first tower at level three was day. Oh, ah, okay. Picking up two really early kills. Let me give a shout out to. Yeah. There's Day's fourth kill. And some replays there. So, Magnetar is the uh, elephant. Magnetar. Well, it's not really... He's kind of an elephant. People say he's an elephant, but I don't know. When I look at that, he looks more like a rhinoceros to me, it, but... It looks like an elephant with a armored... Um, what is well, that? Why thing? would you armor up your trunk Snout? to stick out in front trunk, of you? Trunk, trunk. It doesn't make yeah. any sense. The, look at this. this play was really nice. I like this. You threw him yeah. up on the hill. <laughs> he's just like, well... I guess I'm stuck. Darkseer doesn't have any blink, so he just vortexes the uh, Venomancer up here, and then they're both stuck up on the hill. <laughs> Party on the hill here, mm -hmm. with all the bug turrets and the words. And both of them just getting taken out eventually. So that's Bloodseeker. Mm -hmm. Here's a new word. That guy was called Blood Hunter, but mm -hmm. um, Bloodseeker. I see. Pretty similar. I think they got a triple kill in that in that um in this fight. It might be a quadra kill with this. Nice. They really do. I love how he jumps in front of him and tries to like mess up the pathing so he can't yeah. get to him. That actually saved Magnetar's life right there. I really like uh, that about yeah. that actually. How you can kind of it's more about positioning and blocking and stuff like that. Yep. It's really cool. I promise, guys, I'm going to memorize as many things as I can about this game tonight. It's yeah, We will be casting this more. We will be. <laughs> yes, we will. So you got to learn as much as we can. Of course, YouTube yeah. is blocked here in China, so we cannot yep. really study during the downtime. But I did my best before coming here, mm -hmm. which consisted of watching about four games. And Shout out to uh, Kawa Dota on Twitter, man. He's... Sending me a bunch of information, which is awesome. That is actually really nice, because that will yeah. definitely help us in the future and for this cast. Like, my, my policy is usually I won't cast a game unless I'm paired with an expert yeah. about it. But in this case, that just wasn't possible. It just wasn't possible. Yeah. So, just doing our best. That's right. Like, four Minisky members just grouped up there, mm -hmm. all on the wall of um, Darkseer. So you actually have the image of uh, who's the guy with the big sword? I really want to know his name. Actually killed Rubik in that mm -hmm. fight. That was pretty cool. This was the best fight, of course. Yeah. The flash in by Magnetar and then Devil just <laughs> yeah, chopping attacks everybody, everybody apart. Man. So it goes. Bloodseeker. Yeah. Just that's actually so cool that you can go through the bush in this game. It's nice. All right, the guy. The zombie teeth guy is Life Stealer, and the purple one is Dark Seer. Oh yeah. Oh, the zombie guy is Life. Stealer? Life Stealer. Yeah. Life Stealer. Okay, so he's Jikiro. not. Oh, Double Dragon is not Double Dragon. It's Takiro. Oh well. What is it? That's right. Uh, Dark Seer. Yeah, Jikiro. I knew that guy. Takiro. Takiro. Yep. Magnus, not Magnetar. Magnus. I'm being corrected again. 